A new sign of growing tension on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea is now blocking the entrance of South Koreans to go to work at a joint factory zone. The blockade comes a day after Pyongyang announced it would restart a reactor to boost production of nuclear weapon material. Margaret Brennan is at the State Department. Margaret, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora, and to Charlie. The morning commute for hundreds of South Korean workers may become an international incident after North Korea restricted access to a industrial park jointly administered by the two countries. This is one of its last remaining ties to South Korea. Hundreds of South Korean workers were turned away from work Wednesday, unable to cross into the Kaesong Industrial Park, a factory located across the world's most militarized border, inside North Korea, but jointly administered by both governments. North Korea restricted access, leaving 800 South Korean workers wondering whether they still have jobs. The joint venture, which generates billions of dollars in trade each year, was seen as one of the last symbols of cooperation between North and South Korea. The rare decision to disrupt trade moves North Korean hostility from rhetoric to reality. According to local media, South Korea's defense minister warned that his country will consider military action if any workers are in danger. On Tuesday, Secretary of State John Kerry urged his South Korean counterpart to de-escalate tension in the region, but made clear that the U.S. military was ready to respond to any aggression. The United States will do what is necessary to defend ourselves and defend our allies, Korea and Japan. Also Tuesday, the U.S. Navy deployed a second destroyer to the Pacific to counter any missile threats from the north. For over a month, North Korea has been threatening to wage war following a decision by the United Nations to punish North Korea for testing a nuclear weapon. Now, this is a developing story. At this point, it doesn't look like North Korea is holding any workers hostage inside the factory, but it also isn't clear whether they'll allow anyone to return if they leave the factory. South Korea, as you heard, will move to defend its workers if they come into any harm. Oh, Margaret Brennan, thank you.